Me won't go. Listen, you can't get pumped from a prison. A next man have your girl when you miss. Say bail for me, ease. Somebody tell the jury, Jack can show me destiny. Stay far from war that a copper and lead. You can't get head when you're dead. The food a shit, the bed a concrete. Sun the gleaner, I'm a damn sheep. Babylon said jail for me. Beg the judge, say bail for me. Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer will know his fate March the 14th, 2024, after he's been waiting for 13 years. The decision will come down by the Privy Council live in front of your television screen where his fate is in the hand of five judges. Yo, yo. One of the Isra dance hall, Lincoln Terraj records. One of the talk I told in dance hall, Lincoln Terraj records. Your entourage, the meeting I eat from man, your rockedness. Bless up, bless up, and welcome back to Entourage Records. You are new via here, please consider subscribing. Turn on your post notification bell so whenever I make a new upload, you can be the first to be notified. The artist who is considered to be the greatest lyricist ever in dancehall are one of Vibes Cartel Adija Palmer. According to the Observer, will know his fate next Thursday by the Privy Council. The five panel judge will broadcast live the decision as far as if cartel will remain in prison, if cartel will get lesser time, or if Vibes cartel will get a retrial. This decision wasn't supposed to come down until around 12 to 24 weeks. So we can always draw our conclusions. But before we draw our conclusion, I will let you know exactly what was said. Incarcerated dancehall artist Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer is expected to know his fate next week as the Privy Council has announced that a ruling in the appeal to overturn his murder conviction will be handed down on Thursday, March 14. The entertainer sentenced to life in prison more than a decade ago had been granted an expedited hearing by the Privy Council in October 2023. Specifics regarding the DG's case were heard in the United Kingdom on February 14th and 15th. The decision then comes just over a month after court proceedings concluded, it was expected that the final decision could take up to 12 weeks. After a trial lasting 64 days before the trial judge and during the home circuit court, Carter's co-accused, including Sean Stam, were convicted of the MURDER of Clive Lizard Williams, who was reportedly killed on August 16, 2011. The police took Vibes Carter and his co-accused into custody on September 30, 2011, their cell phones were seized and we know all that happened. They were tried and convicted. Got an appeal in the Supreme Court in Jamaica, which the appeal was denied. Then they got an appeal at the final appellate court in the UK, whereas Vibes Cartel will know his fate in less than a week where five judges will determine his fate. There's a lot of rigmaroles in this case up and down and different opinions from different people where if you don't study the case yourself we're gonna look it up like i did from a few years ago i hear the judge decision hear the judge summation and the whole works that's how you get a better or a proper understanding of this case because we hear all kind of things as far as tampering we hear about bribing attempted bribery and from right there so, when the bribing and attempted bribing start, and even the threats were made in a prison by um, one of the jury with upon the jury panel um, towards one of our son or something like that. From right there so, the case started to derail. And from right there so, I believe 
the judge should have taken some actions. But it's a high profile case and probably the judge want to be upon this high profile case where his name is attached to it. But at the end of the day, his name attached to it, but at the end of the day, it no look good. We also hear about perverting the course of justice. And this have to do with Vanessa Bling because she now run the police station go talk one whole heap of arms out some madness. The lizard just rub her muscle out or wherever. She put for herself in a trouble. She even got converted to Christianity. She no out of loop yet you know, because based upon what me read a few years ago, they asked the, um, the DPP based upon the facts that the case is being appealed they ask them to just drop it for right now. Doesn't mean that she can't get charged again. So that them can go ahead because this will be mentioned in the appeal. So they don't want this to be one issue or one problem. Splice Vice Notes also was a thing where we get to understand that one police, and this is so stupid and so mad, according to my information, the Sean Storm Vice Notes them, I guess the man must admit in a quote that him Splice. Vice note. We had trial judge pressure. When the trial judge go ahead and pressure the jury to go back in the jury room and come back with a decision that can't write. Not that him tell them say come back with a decision today, but he must say go back in there make a decision. Come on, sequestered jury and them where they them one guard them yard. So the trial judge write this so him earth. We also have the court of public opinion. Where enough people find cartel guilty before the case even start. But I know so justice go. So even if he did it and so no, I know so it go. You can't find him guilty. You have the police stigma. Where the police go ahead and start stigmatize cartel. Over 90 to 100 um, murder cartel um, involving or investigate whatever. That did foolish. That did mad. But he was trying to stigmatize the whole trial where just about everybody in Jamaica who go upon the jury panel would have at least have an idea about the case. So then put it in the jury of them head from before, say, cartel guilty. But when Isaac Buchanan fouled upon the scene and he tried a similar thing in far as stigmatize and as far as the whole Fox 5 and stuff, that's why he would have been good for the case to begin with because he would have known of a counteract what the police had done. His lawyer that he had for the, for the original trial, Vibes Cartel, he never have that strategy or that tactics there. So, we had many vloggers also spreading false narrative from, um, even from my favorite vloggers, them like you have, well, favorite vlogger, because we have Amari, the Ray them time there, and we have CMR, and we have so flow, because we used to listen to these guys so often, and me used to say, these guys talking garbage. And the reason why they were talking such biased nonsense about metadata and tampered evidence is, and, and, and they weren't even giving you, like, reasons for, 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 um, for them biased narrative. And even if they might give a reason, it, 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 it was so polytricking where it's like you wouldn't even want to listen it again because, to me, they were talking nonsense because they were just looking at Vibes Cartel. This figure, Gaza, as in he couldn't have been on the scene, and many other things, which makes no freaking sense to me at the time. And that's one of the reasons why I had to vlog, you know, and put some sense in enough of these guys' head what, what we look up to because as a Amari, then and they them have good reasonability, but they have also good reasoning bias ability. So they weren't looking at show the witness at the scene. And where they weren't telling people from a balanced perspective and them look away there. That's why I never really even like all them some the whole thing. But what me was said though is the evidence that was presented against Vibes Cartel was weak and pure circumstantial. And it wasn't Cartel's duty for proof his innocence, but it was the onus on the court to find him guilty. So in a murder case or a murder trial, you have to prove the man is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And in my humble opinion, there was too much doubt. And most of the evidence, as I say, was pure circumstantial, except for Chow the witness. So if Amari and them had said something like that, I would have more than agreed with them. Because that's where they would have been making some sense rather 
than Polly Chicken. But what we don't know, it's more than obvious after the Privy Council hearing that Vibes Cartel and his co-accused are co-convicts. Constitutional rights were breached and that's why the Privy Council's job became much easier where the possibility of Vibes Cartel going home is very possible. I won't say imminent because after I saw that case, yeah, me, I say, there's only a few things that happen here, so you know, Vibes Cartel can get a much lesser time, which I don't think the court will do that. Vibes Cartel can get banned, which the court might do that, because they have served so much time already, and the court can order a retrial. After me, go ahead and look deep in the case. Based on how the case is set up, it would not be double jeopardy if them try him over. But how would they try this case if it's the same evidence and they don't have any new evidence? But this will just be protect the shame out of Paula Llewellyn and the rest of the prosecutor's team to make them not look bad in terms of them free up the case. They mess up the whole case from day one. Saying they did not have enough evidence and all that they did was foolish because the way in which they acquired the voice notes and stuff that can't admit again. And I said it from day one. Said this would not have been admitted in court if this was the United States of America. This can't use again. So basically their case is shattered. So if the judge even had a retrial, I am pretty sure the Attorney General of Jamaica will tell them because he have that right. Say this case can't try again. This case cost taxpayers too much money. But in light of that, it can be left there for years to come if them get or if them forward with new evidence. So it would not be a not guilty verdict. It would have been we not try the case over verdict or they are free to go verdict until if they followed up with further evidence. Because there is no statute of limitation on a murder case. It doesn't matter if at 300,000 years from now, they can always still try the case. But for now, these men seem like they are on Freedom Street. And that's one of the reasons why the judges them, the five panel judge, did not have to take 12 or more weeks to say, to come to a decision, whether it be freedom or whether it be them need to get bail right now until they come up with one or come up with it. Because right now, this makes no sense. Their constitutional rights were breached and all that. Uno botched the case. Uno an idiot, basically. And that's one of the reasons why the five panel judge, one of them, or a few of them, did I wonder who tried this case? I mean, come on. Uno have one juror we try to bribe the foreman or try to bribe the other jurors and this case continue, that have to be total madness. So when the argument of how the jurors were thinking, you can't go in at somebody's mind, but one of the Queen's counselors say, this is probably what they were thinking and weren't thinking. You can't tell that. You don't know that. From the moment one drop of ID going to some water, the entire water poisonous. And that's why it is possible that they had a good case upon them and with them batch it. Because them already placed cartel upon the scene where Lizard was missing and many other things. But because them batch the case, basically cartel will work. It is not a case where the court of public opinion or find vibes cartel guilty meaning guilty. The law doesn't work like that. And even though or even if he was at the scene, the court needs to prove him guilty based off of evidence that can be proven in the court of law. And not him need to prove himself innocent and look upon this case here as well. OJ seems to have plead not guilty. And everybody said evidence point for him. He plead not guilty. Because it's the jury's job to sift through the evidence. And if they find any kind of reasonable doubt based on their conscience, it is within their right to find our defendants not guilty. Our theme defense lawyer, 
to present evidence in the court of law to show the juror beyond a reasonable doubt said these men or this man is not guilty. Probably his original liar didn't do that, but Isaac Buchanan and his team did a great job and that's why Vibes Cartel have a great chance that he will be walking through those prison doors come next week, Thursday. If you are not subscribers, leave your thoughts, leave your comment at the comment section so we can talk about it. We've come for another video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Those who haven't done so as yet. Also, please turn on your post notification bell so whenever I make a new upload, you can be the first to be notified. Peace out. Bless up. I'll definitely catch you in the next one.